we have a rotating cylinder that is lowered on a rough surface. The initial angular velocity is given omega naught, coefficient of friction is k. We need to find how long the cylinder will move without sliding and total work performed by sliding friction. So you can imagine that uh, if the surface were smooth, the cylinder will just stay where, where it is and the bottom point will be go towards left. But because the surface is rough, the friction will now act in the opposite direction. And it will be sliding friction with its maximum value that is kmg. So because of this frictional force, the cylinder will start to move towards right. And also its omega will start to reduce. So when omega is reducing and velocity is increasing, at one point velocity will become equal to omega r and after that point the cylinder will just roll on the surface its velocity will not change further and its omega will also not change further so once again we have a cylinder where that's rotating with omega naught and that's just kept on the floor so as a result friction will act forward that will reduce omega and that will increase v until v becomes omega r so we need to find how long that will take and what is the work done by the friction. So initially there is no rolling. So we are going to write separately the for F is equal to MA and torque is equal to I alpha for the cylinder. And because there is no rolling, we cannot say that uh, A is equal to alpha R. We cannot say that. So let's write the two equations. So about O, torque will be I naught alpha. So the frictional force is kmg. So kmgr is equal to mr square by 2 alpha, which gives alpha is equal to 2 kg by r. It's a constant. Force equal to ma. So here we have only frictional force. Its value is kmg is equal to ma. That gives a is equal to kg. So you can see a is not equal to alpha r. Now, as discussed, V will increase and omega will decrease until V becomes equal to omega R. So that is the condition for rolling. So let's write V and omega both as a function of time because we need time. So V will be 0 plus 80 and omega will be omega naught minus alpha t. So we put the values of A and alpha here and we'll get our answer. Second, work performed by the sliding friction. So the only work on the cylinder is due to the friction. So whatever work done is by the friction, that is equal to change in kinetic energy. So final kinetic energy for the rolling sphere, that will be half mv square plus half i omega square, omega will be v by r because it is rolling. So this is the final kinetic energy. Initially, it was only rotating with omega naught. So initial kinetic energy is half i omega naught square. So we do that, the value of V, we put to be omega R and omega is alpha T. Actually, no need, we can directly put V is equal to A T and uh, A we already know. So, and T we calculated. So we put the values of A T here, which is omega naught R by three. So we solve that and we'll get our answer. So this is the work performed by friction and of course it is negative all right